Well, actually, a CEO of a large uh, consulting company with uh, around about a thousand uh, employees uh, in a field, in the construction field, which is not really appropriately done for gender equality. Um, I think one uh, one step is uh, to forge this during education, especially in the engineering part. In the architectural part, we are already there. In the engineering part, we have really to promote more uh, female uh, students into the technical educational part, number one. Number two, uh, within our company, uh, we did a lot of uh, organizational changes, which makes it work that uh, the old habit, uh, somebody who is working in a project uh, leading position has to work uh, 10 hours, uh, five days a week or even more, is not any longer necessary. Due to digitalization in our job, uh, I think uh, it is a big chance and we see this already that with 20 hours a week, with 25 hours a week, uh, with a lot of remote working, I'm, I'm making a difference between remote working and home working. I mean, we don't support home working, but we support remote working from another place, from an office location near to your home or a working space adjacent to your home. That makes it much more uh, uh, possible uh, to forge this gender equality. In general, I think gender equality uh, needs quotas. Yeah, I know that's dif uh, difficult when I say that, but especially in the management and C-level positions, I think without quotas, uh, it, uh, we are suffering another 30 years. Actually, um, within within the hiring process, we uh, uh, we use a very similar procedure like it was uh, successfully done at our universities. You know, I'm teaching at the Technical University in Vienna, and at the university you have this uh, uh, definition: if there are two persons and uh, they are more or less equally qualified and one is female, then you have to take the female one. Yeah, and sometimes even a bit more, if there is a female person to be evaluated, you have to have a good reason why not to take them. And uh, this we are even practicing within the office because I mean the, the old school boys yeah, who are in leading positions, uh, of course would appreciate not to change their um, their leading behavior, yeah, and leading behavior in a project is easier if you have one person 24-7 uh, available for you uh, and you don't have to, uh, to talk about uh, family problems, ch uh, child problems, etc., etc., etc. So this really needs to have a change in culture in, in, in leading and directing culture within a company. And uh, this gets a very strong support top down within, in a, within our company. And uh, so therefore, I think that's one of the, the best measures we took the last five, six years that we by intention are looking uh, for female sea level and next level leading people to do that. Because only when, when, uh, when you reach 25 to 30 percent uh, um, uh, female leading positions, then you really can prove that uh, the cultural change has been successful. Even more challenging, you know, uh, in, in, in certain disciplines where you just don't get enough, uh, enough people from the universities uh, getting into, into this field. Yeah. That uh, makes it necessary that in in some professions, yeah, let's talk about HVHU, electrical, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, we are uh, taking students right after their bachelor degrees. Bachelor degree probably in just an ad adjacent uh, discipline, and uh, uh, the continuing education is done within our office. Then 
I wouldn't call it bias. You know, I mean, uh, a lot of people are, uh, even in the industry, are uh, very optimistic and say, yeah, that's great. And that uh, um, that makes it possible that uh, gender equality is going to be improved. I don't believe that. Uh, you know, I mean, we are working in a discipline, for example, uh, designing offices where we try to make uh, ideal workplaces, not only individual workplaces, but even collaborative workplaces with ideal conditions, yeah, uh, from from the, the surroundings, from the, 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 the noise protection, from concentration, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, even from uh, personal beha uh, behaviors. And now suddenly we accept that uh, uh, we find it positive that um, male and female, but predominantly female workers, are sitting at home, yeah, and the only quiet uh, space in their little apartment is the toilet, yeah, and outside the kids are running around, and we think this uh, this improves their position. No, it doesn't at all, and uh, so therefore um, I think the. Uh, the the bias starts much earlier that you say if somebody is really concentrated onto the job and is reorganizing his job um, and the, uh, he can separate um, private business from uh, from their own business and if, if they can separate that and is supported by the organization of work then this bias disappears Actually, it's not, not just a matter of this year. It is, uh, we started this four years ago uh, that we found out that we have nearly 45% uh, of uh, all our employees are female employees. And the higher you get yeah, into group leader position or e even into C-level, the smaller this uh, um, percentage is. And uh, since five years, we have we have an active campaign, not only in hiring but even in career planning. That uh, uh, one of our of our success benchmarks is uh, how much is this percentage improved? Uh, what we are already doing and very carefully doing is that we have equal pay. Yeah, there is absolutely no difference. And uh, even in uh, the yearly talks to our, in our leadership talks, um, it is a very critical point if somebody shows a bias that he says, well, listen, I don't want to hire a female person because uh, most probably she uh, is in danger to get kids and then I'm losing her for a year or for two years. By the way, in Central Europe, that's um, something which is, uh, which is really um, uh, prohibiting uh, this uh, this um, uh, gender equality are the social laws out of the I always say mid of the of the 20th century that um, uh, a mother could take up to three years uh, uh, out of the office uh, to uh, uh, after a birth of a, of, of a child and then have the right to re-enter in after three years, which is definitely co counterproductive uh, for, for females to be in the job because the pressure starts in their own family. Uh, but we overcome that uh, by reorganizing the work. And uh, uh, again, this is a, a very, very uh, important point uh, when we uh, uh, do our quarterly interviews uh, with our employees, if we find out that here somebody wants to make it easier for him, in this case for him, uh, uh, if he's not hiring female, uh, female persons. Because the, the center of our work is to um, um, make buildings to improve the world, uh, which is something for the next generation. And uh, because our cult the culture of our company, uh, top down and bottom up, is a culture where we know that uh, if we are coming to gender equality, we, uh, we can do a better job to improve the world.